but the food we eat today is about one-tenth as nutrient-dense as it was 100 years ago. If I'm eating a, a steak, for example, and I'm supposed to be reaping all these nutrients out of it, and it's not as nutrient-dense as it was 10 years ago, then I'm going to have to supplement. Or if I'm eating vegetables, or if I'm eating fruit, or I'm eating all these different things, because I'm trying to eat this kind of diet that's rich in micronutrients, there's a good chance that I'm still going to be micronutrient deficient because the food is not as nutrient-dense as it was 100 years ago. So for our evolution, we evolved in a very interesting way with probably very nutrient-dense food that just doesn't exist today.